Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Garcia with Hyman Sanchez. I'm a partner over at this fabulous firm. And who are you? I don't know. <laughs> but who are I'm you? Alina Gilbert. I also am a partner with this amazing, wonderful firm. <laughs> so Alina, today we're going to talk about education and Alina is the head of the education department. What is that? What do you what, what do you bring to education? <laughs> what do I do? Why, why is that? Yeah. Well, I've always had a passion for education, okay. and I've always had a passion for law, and this actually gives me the best of all worlds, where I get to Woo. combine the law and education, and kind of oversee Hyman Sanchez's amazing uh, education program. I. Well, I do a lot of the teaching, but I'm also behind the scenes where I put our curriculum together every year. She manages everything. Almost. She's a taskmaster. Taskmaster. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so that's kind of... Right. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I put it together. Well, why, would, why is education important to board members? Is it important to board members? Of course. I think it's important to everybody. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it, it's important because... Without it, people, well, people would just be flailing and kind of doing things. Flailing. Flailing. Okay. And they'd be doing things and not really knowing whether what they're doing is right or wrong. And I always tell people, you know, the law and common sense uh, don't typically equate to one another. So if <laughs> people true. just followed their common sense and weren't aware at all of the nuances in the law and what's required uh, and what the law imposes mm -hmm. upon both board members and managers, uh, they probably would not be in compliance. And so education is very important because it's also preventative medicine. Mm -hmm. It helps mm -hmm. stop the problem where there is a problem. Preventative medicine, so we're doctors too? We're doctors too. I like we're it. We're doctors. I like it. <laughs> so um, you, you talked about board members and their responsibilities and yes. knowing the law. What about managers? Or well, is it important? Is education important to managers? Yeah, well, now it's required with their manager licensing requirements. There is eight credit hours that every manager has to have every year. Okay. And the good news is that we work pretty closely with DORA, and the classes we put on are approved by DORA for continuing education. So almost any education program we put on, you will get continuing education credits for, if you're a manager, that is. So is so there's a legal requirement. Yes. How many credits do they have to get? Eight a year. And do we have classes that cover? Sure, we have anything from one credit hour to eight credit hours in one full day. So we've got webinars for one credit hour, we've got lunch forums that will give everyone two credit hours, and then we've got full day classes where you can get all the education all done for the year in one. Day. One day. And you get I fed. Love it. And you get fed. And you get fed. That's, That's very, very important. very important. That's the important part. You don't get any drinks, but you get fed. No, no. no. <laughs> not alcohol. But no, not drinks. the fun drinks. Okay. Right. right. Um, so you, we talked a little bit about education that is in person. Mm -hmm. Are there any other kinds of resources mm -hmm. that Ivan Sanchez provides? Sure. Well, we have webinars. We do one a month. They're all different topics. You get one credit hour for. Uh, webinar, you never have to leave your office, just turn in, uh, turn, plug it in and you'll be hanging out at home. Hang out at home, hang out in your office and watch the webinar. Well, it's, why wouldn't they want to come here and see us though? <laughs> they would, but yeah. when we're in the webinars they really can't come here and yeah, see us anymore. The other resources is of course our website, we have plenty of information there, plenty of articles, mm -hmm. plenty of blogs and you, there's tons of information there. Great. So any fun classes or interesting classes on the horizon? Well, I think they're all interesting, personally, yes. but... Especially but, insurance. Uh, yeah. Okay. We have a really <laughs> cool one coming up towards the end of the year that I'm really excited about, and that is uh, where managers build their own communities. Ooh. They're going to start from scratch, and they're, we're actually going to put them in the shoes of a developer, and we're going to build a community from scratch. It should be lots of fun. That sounds like fun. It does. Especially if you're teaching. So. Yeah, I'm teaching. Are you teaching? I am okay. teaching, yes. All right, so um, how do people sign up for these fabulous classes and webinars? Well, that's the easiest part. Okay. <laughs> and and there's more. There's more. <laughs> yeah, you can go online to the Hyman Sanchez website, which is www.hindmansanchez.com, and you will see an education tab and a, a 
um, you can click on that, and sign up for classes, and it's it's just all done right there. Okay. So should be fairly straightforward. Anything else you want to add? Come to our classes. Come to school. Come to school. Come to school at Hudson Sanchez. This is a fun school. It is. Yes. <laughs> So with everything that we do, we're trying to make better leaders for better communities. So hopefully you'll join us again as I'm sure we'll explore more topics with Alina and others within the firm so you can get to know more of the people behind the name Hyman Sanchez. Thanks so much. Thank Bye. You.